What's up, YouTube? Today is leg day, Monday, and today we're gonna train legs. But I'm not gonna take y'all through the workout. What I am gonna do is we gonna I'm front squatting today, so which I do three times a month, and I back squat once, once a month. Uh, and the reason being, I like to focus more on my quads than my butt. Back squats, of course, you're gonna hit. Of course, it's gonna hit overall the glutes, the hams, and the quads, but it really hits the glutes and the hams big time. I don't need my butt big at all. So, what I'm gonna do is, of course, you want some butt. You want a little bit of butt now. You know, you, you <laughs> girls like a little bit of butt now, but you don't want it like you don't want it that big. You don't want it on the female side, but so. But anyway. I want to. I focus on more of quads, and I like. I get a lot of compliments on my quads, and and I attribute a lot of that to front squats. So I'm going to. I'm going in, and I'm going to hit some front squats, and uh, said that's going to be the part that I show y'all. And that's that's what that's a lot of people don't understand how to do front squats or where to position the bar, and that's going to depend on you. But I'll show you a couple different ways you can position the bar or how you do. I've seen several different people do it several different ways. Uh, what may work for me may not work for you. So uh, we're going we're gonna to go at it, like, go about it that way. And like I said, I'm waiting on this pre-workout to kick in. And I said in the other video, I was going to show y'all front squats. So that's why I'm going to show you front squats. Uh, take it for what you want. Uh, take it and run with it. Take it and throw it out the window. Whatever you want. But like I said, it's getting me great gains great results from it and i'm pretty sure to do the same for you too this is leg day my first time doing legs in this gym so what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna fill it out uh it's a pretty good gym i think to do legs in so i'm gonna fill it out first and see what it's like and then we're gonna go go through the tutorial just pay attention i guarantee you'll take some something away from it with the rest of these other youtube channels i'm pretty sure you'll find something that worked for you out of one of us. This is all it's about. It's about trial and error. So uh, I'm excited to do this. Uh, I said many tutorials as I can show y'all. I mean, I will because, like I said, everybody needs help. Everybody needs help. Um, you can never learn enough in this in this fitness game. You can never learn enough. Uh, I'm still learning. It's on you to take to take in what you want from a specific person, or or if you think. That you can't. Uh, if you like that physique, uh, if you like that physique, I'm keeping that in there. Uh, then you may want to do what that person does, but not saying that it's gonna work for you. But you may want to try that. So you know, like I said, it's about trial and error. So we're gonna go about it this way, and we're gonna see what works. And y'all just pay attention and stay tuned. So what we have here is a front squat. Do this front squat. I got the bar loaded with a 25 here. You can't see it, but you'll see it in a second. Got it loaded with a 25. And there's a couple different positions that you can line this up on. But you can, I made myself personal. I grab it here. These two, line it right here on your front anterior deltoids. Unrack, load, unrack, step out. Make sure you're stable and your stance is on point. Make sure you're sturdy where you can't fall over. Whatever it takes, in here. Here, in here. Here, in here. Here, in here. All right, there's one stance. You have some people come under here and grab it here like this. Put it on their shoulders here. Some people step out like this. Let's think about this. You can't put 225 on your wrist like this. It's gonna completely destroy your wrist. Completely. 
So I don't recommend doing it that way. But that's another way you can do it. But when you're doing it, you want to make sure, like I said, you want to make sure you get that full stretch. And see if you can see me come all the way down. So I'm going to do it again. So this is my stance. Put that up a little bit. I start from here. On my shoulder. For your interior delts. Here. Here. Step back. Make sure you're stable. Don't try to attempt to squat down unless you're stable. If you're unstable, you can possibly injure yourself. So we don't want that. So we're here. That's one. That's two. It basically depends on, basically depends on, on the stance you use for back squats. Whatever you're comfortable with. That's how you want to step out. Said so if, if you not comfortable with it, I would say do the bar first because you just try to load the load the plate up and put 225 or even 135 on there. You could possibly hurt yourself. And you want to make sure that back is that back stays straight the entire time. So here, make sure the back stays straight. Bam. Not this. You see a lot of people do this. They they leave lean forward. You don't want that. I said now you're risking the back injury. We don't want that neither. So let's try to keep it. Get it. I rack it. Step out. Here. Bam. 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 I'm gonna try to get another angle and show you another way. And just pay attention to these sets I'm about to do. Step out. Make sure my feet stable. Back straight. One, two, three, four, five. Remember to come off your heels every single time. Make sure you come off those heels. If you come off your tiptoes, you, you can risk going forward and bottom over with the weight, which can hurt you as well. Pay attention to these sets. That was a video of me front squatting. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.